Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's about 3.30, still haven't fixed this clock. It is April 4th, Friday, 7.2 degrees Fahrenheit, or centigrade, 45 degrees Fahrenheit there, 42 degrees, something like that over here as it blinks back and forth at me. So I normally work Friday nights, but I scheduled a vacation day. Um, I really don't have all that many vacation days to throw around, but as, especially if I don't get laid off. Well, even if I do get laid off, they're supposed to, um, um, you know, retroactively deal with how many do you have coming to you compared to how many you've taken. And then they uh, they adjust your final settlement check, so to speak, accordingly. Anyway, got up this morning and the work thing, uh, right on the front page of the local newspaper, is how um, we've been sold or in the process of being sold or whatever it is. It appears as if the company that wants to buy us wants to pay approximately half of what my company is asking for on the division, but then there's all kinds of other things. Um, some of the parts that we produce, that my company needs for a while, so they got to make a deal with the company who's buying my division to produce them. I figured I'd take you for a walk beyond the barn, so... As I'm talking, you guys could look at some nice scenery. Obviously, the roof collapsed here. Right, made a nice big mess. Roof collapsed on this thing, too. Obviously, I have cleanup to do this year. Some old tractors. God, I put those here. I don't know, when I moved here about 20 years ago, I really should clean up some of this crap. Anyway, so, I don't know, am I sold, am I not sold, is it going to be a joint venture, no clue, no clue, and at work, just to be pesty, they've started all the audit stuff, um, you can see this is all collapsed, kind of interesting that, that piece hanging by the, uh, light cord there just kind of swinging in the breeze anyway this is the barn I guess the name of this video is beyond the barn the people who had this property I mean this this whole piece of property I've left my property um, my three acres is part of a 30 acre parcel which is part of a much bigger parcel if you go back a ways anyway my three acres was subdivided off in the late 80s and this 27 acres remaining they wanted to develop but then they got hit with wetlands and uh, other issues and the real estate market kind of crapped the bed here and that was that but what I like about this property is over the years and I mean we're talking many years just look look at these blocks the way stuff is grown on it I mean you know old bricks and so forth but just the amount of moss on those blocks what I like about it is people over the years left stuff behind like old well casing pipes here this is uh, the olden days when they used to use um, tar paper pipes for septic systems yeah when they were um, setting this place up here's all the um, cedar posts that they meant to use as I stand on them they're all they're all dry rotted and just once again to give you guys somewhat of an idea of how long this crap has been back here look at this pipe it grew, it grew right inside the tree so anyway at work still no clue what's going on 
I figured um, I have a party to go to at my sister's house. Some more cast iron pipe. I think that's sewer pipe, the pipe that leads from the house to the tank. And I saw an old rim here somewhere. So I figured I'd uh, take a day off and um, relax a little bit before having to get up tomorrow morning and uh, head off to, well, tomorrow lunchtime and head off to, um, to Binghamton where my sister lives. That is a really old manure wagon. Um, excuse, you know, parental guidance and all that stuff. Um, shit wagon. You put horse manure in there and then take it, take it out. I don't know if you guys are paying attention. There's a lot of deer bones and all back here. Some of those are from Chuck. He, uh, he hunts and um, he leaves the bones back here for the coyote and all to eat. And then, you know, he, uh, he hunts the coyotes. Yeah, they just left stuff all over. I don't know. This is part of a hay carbine or corn carbine or whatever. I mean, a lot of interesting stuff. I mean, there are those who would just scrap it out. And for something like this, I would scrap it out. But for junk like this, I, I won't scrap that out. I'll leave that back there, back here for all eternity to find. What I wanted to do, actually, while coming back here, is see if I can't hear the peeping frogs, you know, which is a nice indication that spring is coming but I don't hear them yeah I, I think it has to get just a, cl a little closer to 50 to hear them the other day while I was walking back here I found this uh, I don't know I'm going to call it a fireman spotlight for lack of anything else to call it made out of aluminum and I actually found it right on the edge of the uh, swamp here it's like this place um, over the years people you know kind of threw things like for this out in the woods because they thought it had no value so you know let's get rid of it so they threw it out here Anyway, it looked kind of interesting, so I picked it up and I put it in one of the cars. And uh, I'll bring you back. Back uh, when I run back, I'll show you. Obviously, my dra dra driveway kind of runs along the edge of the property, and this is where the water kind of turns into a swamp. You know, gets filtered, goes back into the earth. Actually, if you follow it a ways all through the back here eventually it works its way down to a, um, a creek and uh, eventually the creek joins a, a kind of a little bit bigger creek or stream they call them creeks around here so call, let's call it a creek um, and gradually it'll get into the Hudson River you know it joins a fairly big stream a while a ways off yeah I love um, I love this place because I'm always like finding things you know pipe right there's a length it's flagpole actually and occasionally when uh, I don't know when the winds blow or something I'll notice uh, something else interesting like you could see the metal frame for a window there where are we Or maybe you can't. Um, but if I'm really broke and need to put some metal on a pile, I don't mind throwing away old window frames. Not too big on throwing away old metal from farm equipment, but I'll throw away old window frames. 
you can see there's plenty of wood down. There's some more old block. I've mentioned this before, but just in case somebody's just watching this video and they don't have the context of the other videos, the person who owned this property before me had a um, recovery business. What he would do is if a house burned down, he would go in there and fix it. And he had a bunch of kids. I think he had six kids, three boys and three girls. And with that, he built that barn complex there. Kind of used the back of lean-to section for his, uh, his crap for the business. And he kept, he had horses here, boarded them and so forth. As a matter of fact, his daughter is still around the area and I hear about her once in a while uh, pertaining to horses. Here, more pipe. Yeah, having, being able to walk back here and kind of do an inventory, you know, just in case, like, I need that stupid section of pipe, right? It's really helpful. A little close-up view of the shit wagon. Anyway, it's handy to be able to, to kind of come back and uh, find uh, what I need. Little things like, I think this was an old pig pen. I think they kept pigs back here. Not sure what they had back here. I, once again, I'm thinking it's pigs. But the um, those gates there, um, one day if I'm putting together some project, they could be handy. There used to be an old aluminum antenna back there that I broke up and uh, used for part, or you, uh, turned in for scrap, scrap aluminum. There's the end of that well pipe looking at me. It's probably a groundhog or a rabbit or a skunk living in there. Oh, there's the old rim I mentioned. A rim like that could be uh, handy if you need, need to weigh down an object. Just seeing a piece of pipe, I'm uh, checking to see what it is. What's this? Oh, it's part, part of the fence. Right by the hose. So, yeah, I like to come back here once in a while. Kind of do an inventory. Kind of make sure nobody's kind of getting back here through the swamp and causing any, any troubles for me. Yeah, after... Um, this video, I'm probably going to show you guys some of the eBay packages that have been coming. We'll go through that. Yeah, this um, this guy like these windows, right? These window frames. He used to replace them, I guess. Heavy tire from a truck with the steel rim. That's one of those split rims. You know, the kind of rims that when you inflate them, they could fly apart and put a nice crease in your forehead. Right, more windows. Yeah, there's some boxes of stuff on top there. Um, trim, um, you see cabinet doors, like right there. Those are some bed frames mattresses they were in the uh, the basement when I moved in and I had no use for them um, I don't think there's anything under here I think this is just a platform to keep things dry I don't know maybe the guy left his wife under there or something I'm kidding there's no there's no word of of that kind of stuff um, I'm told by people who are friends of the person who owned this that along this wall there's still some of it left but um he had buckets after buckets after of bolts and washers and junk like that you know more of the cabinets i mentioned so bicycle and an old bicycle pump some of this wiring and all 
I should probably break it up and you know turn it in try to put a couple of pennies in my pocket so anyway your exploration of the old barn here let me show you that old great fur fireplace I mean there's all kinds of crap left back here old barbecue and block um, part of a pump filter how's that for a saw anyway let me show you that uh, that old light I found is kind of cool um, from an aluminum point of view it's probably worth a couple of bucks I mean literally two bucks um, not much more uh, but I thought it was I thought it was cool it's got a name on it and all people who manufactured it from the looks of it and all the appearance I guess it's from probably before the 60s or maybe the early 60s at the latest I'm thinking more like 50s or 40s Yeah, so, oh, yeah, I was roaming around back there and I found this, so, realistic Radio Shack, if I had to guess, the set, the 70s, early 80s, but this is the, uh, the light I found, right, it says FD on it, somebody wrote that, but you can see it's kind of a cast aluminum, had a big bulb in it, adjust the spotlight, I don't know if you guys could read that needle. So, had kind of a handle there for aiming it. It's like really pitted. This plug comes out, right? This was back before things were safe. I'm assuming with the uh, with the size of that bulb and all. It's a ceramic fixture, so 220. I'm, I'm figuring probably the 50s an ATC tire so I figured I'd take you guys for a walk I'm still kind of waking up from uh, from my sleep from last night yeah I gotta I gotta empty these cars out get them hauled away when I uh, when I kind of get put on a fixed income from uh, from retiring I'm gonna actually need to scrap out a bunch of uh, of this crap and dig up the money um, and do actually do something with it my problem is that's a pile of coal back there it's probably a ton my problem is it always seems like, oh good, I got rid of those two motorcycles. Screw it, they're gone. Goodbye, good riddance. And then I discover like I need that stupid handle right there. Or a handlebar bolt. Or a handlebar. Or, you know, I come up with a project where wouldn't it be great to have the front end of a motorcycle with the front tire and so forth. And, vit gone, I dumped it. Even though, like, that seat is real ugly. Might be able to use the seat pan. Might be able to use the shocks. You know. My other great luck is. As soon as I dump that bike. I'll find one just like it. In primo shape. That I need some little piece of hardware. But you know. I dumped it. And now I can't do anything with it. Anyway folks. This is a long video. So let me end it. Guys thanks for watching. Commenting. Subscribing. Love the subscribers, love the comments, so please keep that up. Remember, keep your, your feet down, your head up. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Thanks for watching, commenting, and once again, subscribing. Bye now.